You know it's deer season when there's a bunch of bucks hanging from trees here at the state park. Are we going to get the buck, buddy? Yeah. All right. A bunch of out-of-towners out here. A bunch of guys from all over. Wisconsin, Alabama, New York. Deer season. These fellows are from New York. Those fellows over there are from Mississippi. Me, I'm the local. These fellows got a pretty decent buck already. New York is on the board. Thank you, Lord, for the awesome harvest, for the awesome season. I knew it. I felt it. I, I, I knew it was going to be an awesome season. We're going to have some late doe uh, freezer queen footage, other deer hunting tips and stuff like that. Just because I'm tagged out doesn't mean the season is over. My buddies are laying bucks down, too. Hey guys, this is Nathan Ming, your host of Beards and Bows Outdoors. We got another buck down here in West Central Illinois. It's during the rut, the bucks are chasing. Buck is down, let's go get it. We're here at Deer Camp with the Blood Tracking family. Let's go. First sit, I only seen a couple does. This buck came out searching for does. This is one of my target bucks I call Tall Tines. With him hanging around, it's only a matter of time that he slips up. This is what you do to mimic a lockdown buck to a doe. You'll do a doe bleak. Immediately followed by some buck tending grunts. Called in three different bucks, three different times. The other day, I put one on the ground. Try that, let me know if you get one. You'll have to forgive the audio. The case is attached to the crossbow in a waterproof case. Every movement I make is amplified. This buck came in through my car, but I could hear him crashing through that thicket right in front of me. This buck had a hard time getting through all this stuff to get to me, and he came right to me. Gonna go get this buck. See the rubs. You're not gonna find blood. Start looking for him. 
he's hanging out around here somewhere. <laughs> All right, the kids found him. Some deer tracks. I'm officially tagged out for bucks this year. Still, still got does to get, fill the freezer, but. Roxy, did you get it? Did you get it, Roxy? Did you get it, Rox? All right, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all that jerky. Deer Camp 2022. Awesome, we've been camping up at Siloam Springs. Yeah, smell, smell them tarsal glands, Roxy. Watch your move. Oh, it just stopped. Like he, he broke off right here. He wore down a little chip right there. He is massive. He's, he's freshly chipped right here. Look at that neck. And when I, I noticed when he was walking in, this ear was out and this ear was just all oh, hanging down. So I've been calling bucks in all day with the extinguisher with the estrus bleep followed by some tending grunts. Three different bucks, three different times. The extinguisher call gets you on. Yeah, buddy! Let's go get this buck! All right, here's the boat. Where's your beard? You got a beard yet? No. <laughs> All right, I gotta make a pit stop. What did Daddy get? A buck. Buck down. Got me a piece of fresh deer loin. Skinning and quartering this deer tonight because it's supposed to be 65 degrees overnight for November. Yeah, right? Some fresh venison cooked over the fire. Mmm. A little sea salt, cracked black pepper. That's good. Got it skinned, gonna quarter it, put it in the cooler on ice. And I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the fire. Cooking breakfast on the Blackstone 17 inch. Season up some fresh backstrap, a little sweet potato action over the fire with a view of the lake. Fresh backstrap cooked over open fire. Mmm, delicious. Last morning at deer camp before we go home, it turned super cold. I'm so glad I don't have to get out there, sit out there in the cold weather searching for these bugs. Now I can just sit in the heated warmth of deer camp, put a few freezer queens in the freezer, you know, be cooking eggs and bacon, and I don't have to sit out there and put all the hard work into the bucks because I'm tagged out. Beards and bows out.